Hi everyone, <clears throat> it's, excuse me, it's Brandon Gazzalaw84 with another haul video. Um, I haven't made one in a while. Actually, I made several, I just haven't posted them yet. I was actually sick again. I think I mentioned that in like the last one I posted. I had actually contracted the flu. I hadn't had the flu in like years. So um, I was out, I was down because of that. And it's taken, it took me about a week or week and a half to completely get over it. And I'm feeling much better now. So in the meantime, between that, I actually have picked up some stuff. I knew I was saying I wasn't going to pick up much else. But, I mean, there's just a lot of deals that have been coming up that are really, really, really hard for me to pass up. Now, as you can see, this is this is a different table. Um, I actually am into carpentry work. I mean, it, it's light carpentry work, at least to me it is. And I needed a, I needed some either soft, I needed some saw horses. Instead, I ended up getting, uh, I found this on, on Amazon. It was highly rated. This is a uh, Ketter workbench. And it's really awesome. I love it. And I mean, it can fold up like a suitcase almost. So uh, my other table that I typically use is, uh, is being used right now for something else. So I thought, well, you know what? I think I'm going to start using this workbench as my new haul video uh, table. And you can kind of see that I've already been using it. And I have. Uh, there's some there's some sawdust on it still from when I was cutting. So uh, yeah, so kind of get used to seeing this symbol on here. Uh, I'm in no way trying to promote Ketter. Uh, I don't have I don't have you know anything uh, to do with them. I just I'm just like super impressed by this workbench. It has a thousand uh, pound weight limit, even though I know I'm not going to put a thousand pounds on it. But uh, it's really awesome. I love it a lot. So uh, uh, without further ado, let me get into the things that I've gotten. I'm going to try to squeeze everything into this one video, so I might not talk too much about a lot of the titles, just so I can get through them because it's a lot of stuff. Or I might try to split it up and put in other things, but I'm gonna start with the probably the biggest stack that I have here. Excuse me, which is my uh, Dollar General stuff. There's been a lot of Blu-rays and DVDs that just showed up in Dollar General. Uh, excuse me, and a lot of them are $3.95 or a dollar. So I found this double feature. I actually have these on DVD, and I'm gonna be getting rid of those for $3.95. The Perfect Storm and Three Kings. Some of these are open. Uh, some of them I've watched already and some of them I, I haven't like in this case I just opened it Godzilla 3d I actually have uh, the original release of Godzilla the target version that came out I bought it years ago when it came out I paid the full price which now I think back I'm like god that was ridiculous and now I have this 3d version I got it for four dollars so I'm really happy to have that one cat's eye coal miner's daughter I've never seen this movie but uh, for that price I wanted to pick it up the new version of the beguiled Doom and Street Fighter and all of these were $3.95. It was really cool to come upon these. This is like the third or fourth version of Street Fighter I have, but it was worth it to be able to get this uh, version of Doom. I do have uh, this one on uh, DVD, but I um, mean it's shelved away somewhere and I was I just recently revisited it and I thought it was pretty fun. In a Valley of Violence and Tarzan 3D. So I was really happy to, to pick these up. And get these out of the way those that's for the DV that's for the blu-rays I do have some DVDs that I also picked up class act which I had no idea that this movie was on DVD and this is the only DVD I got that was 395 and I thought you know what it's worth it I haven't seen this movie in years and I still remember the uh, trailers that came out and everything so uh, Jamie Kennedy unwashed this is a stand-up comedy did He's an acquired taste. I figured for less than two dollars, I'd pick that up. Age of Dinosaurs, which was only a dollar. The rest of these were only a dollar. They had like this big, huge cardboard bin uh, that was had films for a dollar. So I was like, I just started scrounging through them, and a lot of them are Sci-Fi Channel movies. And I mean, I I like a lot of those cheesy, corny type movies. And when I showed this one to my daughter, um, she was like, "Wow, you know, it's only a dollar." And I said, "Yeah." Um, so we're gonna see that one eventually. It's still all sealed up. The Amityville Haunting. I saw this uh, some years back when it came out, and I thought it was decent. It's a uh, it's a uh, found footage film. So when I say decent, that's decent to me. Other people probably think it's boring and ridiculous. But it was only a dollar. Uh, Night of the Wild. That was also dollars about rabbit dogs. I'm assuming. And then this one, uh, which I picked it up and I put it kind of put it back. And my daughter was like, well, look, you know, it's got a lot of movies in there. Yeah, there's there's nine movies in here. And it was the only one they had. So uh, I went ahead and I picked this one. It's called, uh, let's see, Beware What Lurks in the Woods. So I'm kind of looking forward to seeing uh, these movies that are on here because I've 
never heard of any of these. So that's it for my Dollar General haul. And let's go with some of the smaller hauls that I have here. Here's some uh, that I just got that were like individual pickups. This one, the Wolf Cop Wolf Pack, uh, I got that off of uh, F Facebook, the, one of the collectors groups. I think I paid like 12 bucks for it, which was pretty cool. I have the first one and I didn't have the second one and then I found this, some guy was selling it, so I picked it up. The Unseen. I've got the original DVD of this, and this one just went out of print. I, I think when I got it, there was only like 10 copies left or something like that, so I knew I was going to have to pick it up. The 4K release of Joker, the Best Buy uh, version. I don't, I still don't have a 4K player, but and I don't like spending a lot of money on things, but I thought, you know what? Of all the different versions of Joker that there were, I like this one. A lot of people were saying the, the cover was not as good as the Target one. And I mean, to me, this is the kind of cover that that they would have to me like on a Criterion edition where it's very minimalist. So that's why I, I spent the extra money and I got this version. And actually I had like a $5 coupon and I used it on it. Uh, let's see, here's another one, a DVD I picked up, Boar. Uh, these are all through like Walmart and I've noticed Shutter is putting out stuff exclusive to Walmart for the most part. I think they, Best Buy also has a deal with them, but they're all on DVD. They are not um, available on Blu-ray and that's kind of a bummer, but I saw this on a Shutter and I liked it a lot. So uh, I, I figured it only, it's less than $10 why so I picked it up. I still haven't opened it, but I saw it recently. so. There's no need for me to like rush and see it all over again. And uh, we have some Big Lots, uh, Blu-rays and DVDs. I, it's not too many because I hadn't picked up a lot of stuff. But oh, and I'm, I'm talking about Best Buy and Big Lots. And I just realized I had two more titles from Big Lots here that I haven't opened. Um, MVD had a sale through Best Buy and uh, Amazon matched them. So I, the only ones I picked up were Wind Talkers and Walking Tall. I've never seen this one all the way. Saw this one at the theater ages ago when it came out. I might have the three disc DVD set, I don't know, but I picked both of these up. I wanted to get the Jean-Claude Van Damme movies that were on sale, because I already had the Nemesis films, but they were sold out like everywhere. So I figured, you know, I don't, I don't want to spend too much money on this sale. So I got these and MVD tends to have sales a lot of the times, like they'll have them around Christmas time or I'm sorry Black Friday so uh, now here's another single gun caliber this one was purchased from the uh, SRS cinema store so I never heard of it but I, I get emails from them and they had said that this one they had sold out and then they got some copies and I hadn't bought from SRS in a while not since house shark came out and uh, that one actually I believe I backed on their Indiegogo so uh, I picked this one up, so I haven't opened that one either. There's a lot of these films that I haven't opened because it's like as much as I try to watch stuff and I had finally gotten everything under control and then I get more stuff and I'm kind of like, oh man, I really need to, you know, put the brakes on this. So, but let's see if that happens. <laughs> uh, we got Castaway. These are Big Lots titles, the ones I was talking about. These I just picked up yesterday, Eliminators, Terms of Endearment, and then uh, these other two titles, I picked them up a few weeks ago. Dominion Season 1 on DVD and Dominion Season 2. They had a ton of copies of Season 1. And then I found Season 2. And when I went to go pay for them, the checkout girl uh, was telling me that people <laughs> were looking for this one. And I'm like, I scrounged through and I found this one. And I, I mean, I, they had plenty of these. So for 5 bucks a pop, that's pretty awesome. We have here some Target pickups. Ready or not, this was on sale for $14.99. I price matched it. Peppermint, which was $8.99. And this one, I literally just got it on Tuesday. Rambo, this was another price, it was a Best Buy price, price match. So I'm really glad that I picked up Rambo. I'm pretty sure they'll probably put out, because the, the international version has like an extended opening sequence. And this film doesn't really have much in the way of special features there. You can see it. But I really liked the film a lot. Yeah, I enjoyed it, and I saw it twice at the theater. So I'm looking forward to seeing it again here at home, and uh, hopefully that you know they put out a special edition version. But 
I like uh, I like that I was able to pick it up. Usually I wait till films go down to like like peppermint go down to less than ten dollars, but it's Rambo. I have to like get it as soon as it comes out because you know that's that's the thing when you don't spend a lot of money on on certain titles, you can afford a splurge like I did with Joker and I did with this one. So here are some Amazon pickups. Oh brother, where art thou? I hadn't seen that in like twenty almost twenty years, and I had a really good time with it. It's real funny. Cocktail, Doom Annihilation, which was only eight ninety nine. Boarding House. This is a DVD uh, special edition, and it has the director's cut. That's on and the time right there for the director's cut is one hundred fifty seven minutes. I have the original Code Red release, but this one is, is like very stacked. It has a lot of extra features, so I'm glad I picked it up. And Beverly Hills Cop Three. This is the one that a lot of people tend to like really rag on. I paid less than five dollars for it, and honestly, I have to say the first time I saw it, I didn't I didn't really care uh, too much for it, but when I found out the Blu-ray trilogy was coming out over here in the States, I discovered that neither Beverly Hills Cop 2 nor this version come with the, the uh, cast and crew, right there, cast and crew interviews. And actually, Eddie Murphy is interviewed for this. So I thought that was pretty interesting that they got him to sit down for an interview for this. So it was worth the $4.95, I think, that this DVD was. Uh, to get it with the cast and crew interview because the blu-ray does not have these on there and I mean honestly That's some things like they have the trilogy there I mean that'll probably eventually pick up when it's less than ten dollars because I'm not gonna pay the price They want for especially since it's missing missing special features So uh, I'm good with like my DVDs that I have of all three films until then so let me get these out of the way and the last titles that I have I picked up at um, I maybe I've mentioned it, maybe I haven't. It's called Market Days. It's a like it's basically like a swap meet uh, that happens once a month, a couple of towns over. So uh, I went there, or well, my wife and daughter and I went there uh, about well, maybe a few, yeah, about two, three weeks ago when I was I was over the the flu by then. But we went to it, and uh, I did pick up a few titles. I can't, I think these were all about three bucks a piece. I think. But I, at one little site I found Bridge of Spies, I believe this one was $3, and uh, it's still sealed. So that was really awesome that I picked up. I've never seen this movie before. I'm glad I picked it up for that price. And I went started scrounging through the DVDs that the people had, because they were, they were only $2, and the DVDs, I'm sorry, the Blu-rays were 3 and the DVDs were 2 So I found this Criterion uh, DVD of Christopher Nolan's Following, and uh, the Rockville Slayer, which I saw also ages ago. Picked them up for two bucks a piece, so that was pretty awesome. And then uh, from this other vendor, I tend to go to this vendor a lot because they always have like horror and uh, action DVDs. And they, I mean, I found Stephen King's The Night Flyer there, and their DVDs are only like two or three dollars. So uh, this time, I found the complete series of Wild Boys, and these were not the prices; they were five dollars a piece. I even found seasons three and four, which typically go for a lot of money. The only bad thing about this one that I discovered after I purchased it was that it's missing the disc for the fourth season, which is only one disc. I think they only do like they only did like eight episodes a season or something like that. I went back. I was still in the area. I went back to the vendor. They told the guy told me that he gets uh, his titles from his brother who lives uh, further upstate, so he you know he didn't have it, and I thought maybe you know he, I could get leave him my number and he can contact me if he happens to get it but he asked me well i can take it back and then i thought well for this price i mean i mean not this price but it was five dollars i thought okay i'll deal with it for now and if i come across it again later on i'll, I'll get it he offered to give me uh another title for free so i just picked this one up it's called farmhouse it has stephen weber and kelly who so though so that's what i ended up getting so uh this has been my a haul video i went a little bit overboard it's been 14 minutes i wanted to try to keep this under 10 minutes but like I said, I bought a lot of titles. So uh, I'm going to try to keep things on the regular now. If I only get a few titles, I'll uh, post, try to post those as soon as possible. Or maybe I'll start doing reviews. I know I've mentioned that previously. I just haven't had the time to do that. But hopefully I can make more time to do this more frequently. So thank you for uh, watching my haul video. Please uh, subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button and comment. If you comment, I will... 
a comment. I will reply to your comments. So thanks for watching my video and see you next time.